What are you doing, Maleficent? Flying. <laughs> oh, hello, people. How are you? So, uh, I see you're finished now, Maleficent. Finally. You were in the closet for a long time with just your head. You know, waited. Now the rest of you's waited. And your zip ties is all finished up. So, uh, you're officially finished, I see. That's right. Would you like to show them your details? They want to see them. Maybe they'd like to see them again. So this is the uh, first reborn I ever painted. She's the jack on the sculpt, the bountiful baby. I accidentally melted her head. Yeah. Bad things happen sometimes with reborn. You just gotta make the best of them. So I took an X-Acto knife and just cut out the melted spot. Then I took some sculpted clay and sculpted these horns and I baked them. So it's a bake, you know, the type of sculpt you can bake so it hardens. And then I took a paint, uh, the Genesis heat set paints. Also can be used on sculpted paint, or sculpted clay. So I painted the horns with the Genesis heat set paints and actually put them in the uh, the wave oven to heat set that paint. And uh, I made her some ear tips out of uh, sculpty clay. Now it was harder to make the ears than the uh, horns. And the, the horns were attached to a, a plate of sculpty, like a little, I don't know how to describe it. And then I put holes in there and I took a needle and thread and some super glue. And I slapped that super glue in there right before it hardened. Or as I was sewing it in place with the needle and thread, I was pulling it up with the uh, super glue. So it's, it's sewed on and super glued on. So it shouldn't come off. And if that wasn't enough to hold it on there, she's got a, she, she's wearing a wig. So that's glued on there too. The wig is also holding it in place. And then I, I opened her eyes up. And I was one eye. And she had, um, I forgot what kind of eyes. They're not acrylic eyes, and they're not glass eyes. They're, uh, they're something else. <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't remember what they're made out of, but, um, when I remember, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll like, uh, put it right, in, right, right here, where these eyes come from. Anyway. They're, uh, they got glitter in there, so, uh, the, the, you know, I can't remember the person's name. Sometimes I can't even remember my own name. But the, the person that made these eyes here is a very talented person. She makes all kinds of eyes. Anyways, and, uh, she's painted with Genesis heat set paints. And uh, I made her to look like a Disney's Maleficent with a touch of reborn. I didn't want her to have, you know, the, depending on what version you're you're looking at, the, like the movie version, <laughs> the movies, was the animated one where she got the green face or the uh, Angelina Jolie version. It's kind of a cross between the two of those. Anyway, there, there she is. And I did her some uh, glow in the dark green fingernails. And that's a uh, fabric paint I put on there for that. And I just put some uh, Alina paper glaze on there to, you know, gloss the nails on her lips. She did her hair feet. She got her toenails all green too, because I just thought that would be appropriate for her. Uh, and I made her this uh, cord and bracelet that I've seen in the Angelina Jolie version. That's the one that's like a little girl had a little cord and bracelet on her. Anyway, I don't think she likes it too well, but and then uh, here we show on the back. 
inside her body I have sewed it sewed in uh, two magnets and then I made these wings out of uh, foam wings that I found at the Dollar Tree and I cut them down size and sewed them together and I, I've got some uh, black feathers and I hot glued them on there and uh, then I super not super glue hot glued those uh, magnets on there so uh, you could take her wings on and off her clothing see they just pop on and off and there, there she is finally finally finished finally finished I mean I had her together in the closet but I couldn't play with her because her head wasn't really attached on and then there, she was a little top heavy because her head was the only thing that was weighed and when I would pick her up her head would pop off <laughs> that did not make for good role play when you're uh, trying to Try and play for your baby and do a video and see it pops off. <laughs> anyway, there's there she is. Evil as ever. I'm not evil. I'm just not appreciated. You're not appreciated. Mm. You're you're one of the Disney villains. Mm, thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Thank you. I guess telling her that she's a Disney villain is a is a compliment. Yeah, I'll catch you beautiful people later. Bye bye. Well, I can't reach it, honey. There's a light on the ceiling. She gets so frustrated. Look at her. She's trying to figure out a way to get up there to get it. Did you give up? Ah, oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna wash your hands. Oh. On my birthday, I somehow missed this birthday card, and I just wanted to uh, say thank you to my secret sister, Valerie, at Kitty Reborn 74, and uh, <laughs> acknowledge this card and show everybody. And then my birthday was like uh, last last Tuesday, and this is Sunday. And uh, okay, anyway, the top half is like uh, blue, like navy blue. And the letters is H is red, A is like an orange, P is yellow, the other P is green, and the last P is a light blue. And then birthday is in the gold. Sparkly. And that it's on the background white with some various colored stars, red, yellow, green, and orange. Well, I thought I could open that with my hand. And on the inside it says, May you have a wonderful birthday from your sis. And I just want to say thank you again to um, Valerie, my secret sister, also known as Kitty Reborn 74. And I'll put that on my card wall with my uh, other birthday cards. Thank you. Hey, beautiful people. How's your Sunday? Yeah, it might have been better. I woke up with the beginnings of a migraine headache. I think it was because of the changes in the barometric pressure, you know. We're having lots of thunderstorms. And then uh, yesterday it's hot, humid, and then today it's raining. So I think that's triggered a migraine for me. Yeah, I thought I would go ahead and show you what I've been up to the past couple days here. There's my cat. She wants to interrupt me. Interrupt me. So uh, you might remember I went to a Target there and bought me one of these Mattel the child or as a lot of people refer to him as a Baby Yoda. And I, I cut the zip tie <coughs> With a, with a exacto knife. 
I also cut my finger too. So that's a different story. So uh, children, exact or nice or not for you. If you're going to modify your baby Yoda, see that sucker that will cut you. If you're going to modify your baby Yoda, get you a get your mommy your daddy to do it or your aunt or uncle your grandma or grandpa or another adult to do that for you anyway after i got his zip tie cut off i had this like a plug in the bottom now i, I thought i could just pop the sucker off and that's where i got cut because it was actually uh, it was actually glued on the side and around the side so uh that's where the exacto knife is. It's a little bit of war damage there. And after I got that done, there were, uh, the, you know, the eyes were in here. The eyes were into the eye socket there. That little black piece sticking in there. And this little white, white piece over here. I don't know what these are called. Is a uh, was placed over that black. Looks like a. Reminds me of a like a screw. But it's not, uh, it's not so that you can twist it and this white piece comes off. You have, to, I had to take two forks and shove down into his head and plow that thing off. That, uh, it, it was on there like that. And I, I worked a fork in there and put it there and popped it and popped it and popped it until I got it worked off all these little grooves here until it come off. Okay. And then I was looking at the eyes, I said, the eyeballs obviously were put in from the front side, not the back side, like, uh, like as reborners would uh, anticipate. And this is a factory job. The eyeballs popped in from the front, which I put the, put the doll into the, I put the head into the new wave oven for about three minutes until it got nice and warm. And then I was able to push on the black, black uh, screw piece from the inside. I was actually able to just push, and where his hot head was warm, it was uh, pliable at that point, and his eyes just popped out. So uh, I'm gonna take and uh, strip off this factory paint because it's not very good. I mean, the whole thing is green, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm talking about how the he's got shade in his ears and on his look. That's like a little bit on his, under his eyes there. It's not, not really a lot. I know, I wanted to uh, accent these grooves in his head with some more paint. But we'll do that at a different day. We're really not going to do anything to him today. And I just wanted to point out that the, these are plastic eyeballs. And what's so uh, sad about these eyeballs is uh, the coloring. It's actually a little wafer thin disc of paper and uh, I'm not happy about how the eyes actually look so I'm going to want to uh, do something else about his eyeballs and there. you would have thought that the, the plastic would have been painted on the back but it's just a piece of paper anyways so uh, yeah that's how he's come along there yes, uh, not, not too much else waiting on his body yeah you gotta take his hands off too you know, take the exacto knife and cut that zip tie and take his little paws off and uh, i want to add some like a uh, creasing or something to his fingers to give it more of a realistic look. I just don't like it plain. Okay, so uh, yeah, that, that's what we're doing. I finished up my uh, Maleficent and I had to finish on there. I got some, I'll, I'll move out real slowly so I don't make any basic. <laughs> this is very, very slow. I got my V8 there. I got two kits over here. I'm, Tentatively working on, put a couple of coats, base coats on there, but the, they've just been sitting over chilling out. <sighs> Alright, let's come back to Baby Yoda. I got my mess over here. There's my hair. I still ain't got about the needles yet. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Enjoy your your Sunday, beautiful people. I'm gonna lay down. I don't feel well. I'll catch you, beautiful people, later. Bye bye.